are Victorian scrap ornaments using scraps of paper, pretty paper that they would have and save that could be cut and fastened together to make ornaments for the tree. What a great idea. Let's join me over here. I've got a workstation set out. I'm just going to switch eyeglasses. Help me up. There you are. Strips of wrapping paper. So I'm going to take my scissors. Oh, those look pretty fancy from long ago. I'm going to carefully cut. So I'm cutting one strip, getting ready to cut the other. I'm cutting through. Great, I can set my scissors to the side. We won't need those. Give some space. So we've got our three strips, but let's make these into loops. So I added glue to one end, just a little bit. And I'm going to hold it carefully just takes a little bit of glue, too much, and it won't stick right away. You'll have to hold it. So I've done one. One last one. Now I'm going to set that down and let it dry for a bit. And we've got one thing that we've got to get ready as well is this little square that's got a picture of the old stone house and a Merry Christmas greeting. So we're going to cut around. So it's more a round shape. Great. I'm going to set that to the side and we'll come back to that. These should be dry enough to work with. So I've got three of my loops and I'm going to put it so that the little red dot is at the bottom there. I'm going to take a little bit of glue, put it there, and I'm going to press the top down to the dot. And I'm going to try to get them so that each bump on this side or little butterfly wings are about the same size. Great. So I'm going to set that one down, get my next one. Bringing the top down, holding it gently. See that shape? Somebody said it looks like a, the number eight. Great, our last one. Now I've got these ready, all three. So I'm going to glue these together to make a snowflake shape. So I'll get some more glue and put some right in the middle, that dip in our little loop. I'm going to press it. Notice how I did that. I'm making a butterfly shape so that the wings cross over and there's a space in the center. Our last one. Great. So it's ready to go. Our last thing to glue on, let's grab, pick up that uh, picture of the old stone house in the winter time. Now, I'm gonna press it into the center and I'm gonna to try to have the top of the house near the top of the ornament or pointing up towards it. So when the ornament hangs, the old stone house isn't upside down. We like to keep it straight and standing tall. White wool string, whatever color you want to use. More tough work here. I'm going to carefully tie a knot. Great, our last one, and it's ready to hang. Good job. So I'm just going to go behind me here and find a branch that needs some decorating. So that's one of the ways that pioneers and Victorian era people in the times after the pioneer time celebrated and continue to celebrate the traditions of the Yuletide and 
holiday season. Now I'm going to say goodbye and thank you for visiting. Merry Christmas.